3A Marketing is a lead generation business that focuses on performance-based marketing. So what I mean by that is we only charge for what we deliver. So unlike your normal TV, radio, print advertising, when you put your budget down and you're unsure of what's going to happen or what the result will be, we only charge for that end result. It could be a qualified lead or a sell, which makes us very easy to work with and the barriers to entry quite high. So essentially, three-way marketing is a risk-based agency where we only get paid for once we deliver a lead or a sale. Besides that, we also work with the company's call center, uh, enabling them to make sales through analytics and process re-engineering. Started in my kitchen. Um, I'm passionate about cooking, and I always made this particular salad dressing. And um, with prompting from our family, I bottled it. I started bottling it and offering it to small stores in the area that I live. We have got six variants which we make throughout the year, but for Pesach, we, it doubles. We've got 12 variants. Products are sold in the major supermarkets, Pick and Pay, Spa, ShopRite and all the, the little kosher shops in the area. When I first started this business, I had no business plan and I didn't really expect it to do and go to the heights that it has reached. So I, I'm very proud of the product. We bought Mr. Delivery two years ago and we saw a great opportunity to use the network around the country, the branch, 48 branches and 600 to 800 drivers to do other things other than food delivery. We branched into Mr. Delivery Media which samples many FMCG products into consumers' homes and more recently Mr. Delivery Express which is now the courier partner to a number of e-tailers. We are now able to get goods into customers' homes on the same day as they order around the country which is making a great impact on the whole e-tailing um, business. Future growth is to solidify Mr. Delivery Express. E-tailing in South Africa is really only starting now and we're perfectly placed to be the career of choice for the major brands in South Africa. Spark ATM Systems is the leading deployer of convenience ATMs in South Africa today. We've grown from humble beginnings in 2006 to comprise a national organization today. We employ over 100 staff members and we've installed over 1,500 ATMs countrywide. Every month we install between 40 and 50 new installations in all nine provinces across the country. On an annual basis, we dispense billions of rands. We're a private company that has really taken the ATM market by storm and has taken significant market share from our banking competitors as well as the other ATM deployers in South Africa, primarily due to our superb product range, our superior customer service, and our innovative approach to problem solving for ourselves as well as for our customers. Watch this space, because every time you withdraw cash, we are there. Think Ahead and iSchool Africa aim to empower South African teachers and engage South African learners by integrating Mac technology into teaching and learning. We've seen amazing outcomes happen in the South African classroom through the introduction of the MacBook, the iPad and the iPod Touch. We have over 100 schools across South Africa, from private schools to rural schools to township schools. And in all these schools, we see the lives of teachers and learners changing. Be great at whatever you do and make sure that whatever you do makes a difference and matters. And that's what we do at iSchool Africa and Think Ahead Education Solutions. I'm from Clarksdorp. I've got a hardware shop called The Handy House. I give a personal service. I'm 31 years in business. The success of my business is me personally working on the floor, serving customers on a day-to-day -day basis. Our main business is the mining industry, the farming community and the retail trade. We also service the community on a day-to-day -day basis.
Boostrum Wear is really a functional active wear product. We are considered twice as nice as half the price. And we are currently Africa's number one fitness apparel brand. We produce everything locally. We have the best fit. Our price is 50% cheaper than everybody else. And the girls just love our brand. If you go to gym, you're gonna wear our brand. The future is very exciting for Boost Gym Wear. I think there are lots of projects on the go. I'd really like to take the brand to another level now. Um, we get lots of calls every day of people wanting to buy Boost. And I'd like to see it distributed nationally in a national chain where everybody from Durban, Nelspruit, Cape Town, all over the country can easily buy Boost Gym Wear. Global Business Solutions is a national and international consulting business. It's got five offices in South Africa. We operate for national and international clients around the areas specifically of labor law, black economic empowerment, industrial relations, and training and development. We can train and develop anything in our specialization areas. Specifically, we focus on training and development in labor law and black economic empowerment. And we have a course that goes all the way up to doctorate level from a simple diploma all the way through to a master's up to a doctorate level in labor law. I think over the next three years there's huge growth opportunity. We're very widely spread and uh, there's a lot of legislation coming down at corporates at the moment uh, and we are there to try and assist corporates in the compliance in the best possible way to suit their businesses. I have developed the most amazing range of natural healing creams called Sister Jenny's Gentle Creams. Sister Jenny's multi-purpose literally makes the skin soft in one minute. And the very same cream heals burns and wounds and cracked heels and sore feet and sore muscles. It's absolutely amazing, even on diabetics. Sister Jenny's Joint and Muscle Cream is so amazing, besides helping arthritis, rheumatism and sports injuries. We are having success helping people with mobility, people who can't even move, have been able to get the movement back and it's really quite remarkable and sister jenny's baby cream is helping babies with eczema nappy rash and now it's actually starting to change the lines on your face on adults and we're now about to export to china my cream is becoming very famous that the united nations is recognizing me my passion is to heal people and i think my cream is really achieving this by helping people all over the world Demographica was founded in November 2006 and for the last six years has quickly grown to be South Africa's largest digital direct marketing agency. We help some of South Africa's largest brands take their advertising messages to targeted segments of the population using email and SMS as our preferred mediums of contact. Demographica has formed a core competency around advertising specifically for retailers. That's where our future lies. So when retailers need to drive increased foot traffic in their stores, we take their retail calendar around promotions and sales and events and use that as angles to drive consumers in those stores' target market into the stores. Good evening, Chief Rabbi, Rabbi's distinguished guests. Each year that I come here, it amazes me how many new young Jewish entrepreneurs there are. A lot of people approach my brother Brett and myself and say to us, how do I become an entrepreneur? What do I have to study? How do I get one of those? And I think the, the answer is relatively simple. It's about attitude, spirit, and will. The attitude is to not be scared to fail but not accept failure. It's to see things other people don't see. The spirit not to accept no or can't, and the will to get up when you can't. You know, we, we, the Jewish community is, is quite a small community, and it astounds me how many leaders and visionaries we foster year on year. And it makes me proud to be able to give this award to, tonight to another great achiever. And the winner is, I always wanted to say that, and the winner is Johnny Goldberg of Global Business Solutions and Mark, Ster and Mark Sternberg 
or Spark ATMs. I feel really privileged and humbled to be here this evening to accept this award. <clears throat> you know, I used to complain about the chilly winters in Cape Town until I experienced these chilly nights here in Joburg. It reminds me of the story of Mr. Berelovitz, who lived in his ancestral home of 10 generations, which was slap bang on the border of Siberia and Russia. His whole life, he wondered whether he was actually in Siberia or Russia until one day he decided enough's enough and phoned the International Geographic Institute to get them to conduct a survey to determine whether he lived in Siberia or Russia. For six months they did topographic studies, aerial satellite imaging, and much research into the matter at the expense of Mr. Berilovitz's entire life savings. Finally, there's a knock on the door and the head researcher announces that the results are conclusive and he definitely lives in Russia. With that, Mr. Berelovitz falls backwards and exclaims, Oi, thanks God, I couldn't take another one of those Siberian winters. <laughs> Thank you to the organizers and judges and congratulations on putting together such an amazing event. Even though this award tonight is for individual entrepreneurship, I accept it on behalf of our team of over 100 people who have together built Spark ATM Systems. From humble beginnings, we've become a meaningful player in the ATM market, and in five short years, we've gained a quarter of the market for convenience ATMs in South Africa. This feat was achieved through sheer hard work innovation, generous doses of Jewish chutzpah, much perseverance, and an unwavering commitment to delivering the highest possible levels of customer service to each of our almost 2,000 customers across the country. Many hands have baked this cake, but none more so than my close friend, partner, and Spark's dynamic sales director, Russell Berman, who's here with me tonight. We unpacked the first container of ATMs together back in 2006, and since then have traveled a truly fantastic journey together. Russ, you're not only my fishing guru, you're also my business and moral advisor, and this award is as much yours as it is mine. My wife and parents were pillars of support through our tough startup years, and continue to dispense pearls of wisdom on a daily basis, for which I'm eternally grateful. Our business is supported by many strong banking partners, notably Absa Bank, Capitec Bank, and Sassfin Bank, all of whom have been instrumental in Spark reaching this, this exciting stage in our young company's development. At Spark ATM, we're not sitting back and celebrating these early achievements. On the contrary, we feel we have merely laid the foundation for what may one day be a truly great organization. Our success humbles us and propels us forward with urgency and purpose. And at the same time, we openly acknowledge our duty as privileged individuals to constantly improve ourselves, give back to our Jewish community, and help uplift our broader South African society. In the words of our teacher, Hillel, if I'm not for myself, who will be for me? If I'm only for myself, who am I? And if not now, then when? Once again, thank you very much for this award and enjoy the rest of the evening. Chief Rabbi, ladies and gentlemen, I haven't prepared a speech. Actually, when I walked in here this evening, I didn't think very much about winning this award because I saw the people that were nominated in this category. And I must say, first of all, I'm proud to be in the same category as the number of people who were shown on the, on the screen this evening. 
I'm a boy from the Eastern Cape. I come from a little town and community, a thriving Jewish community in East London. Now, for those people who don't know where East London is, it's halfway between Durban and Cape Town, uh, on, the, on the coast, of course. And uh, the one thing about our community, our Reform and Orthodox communities share the same premises, and we have lots of children. And lots of children and children crying in the synagogue is a sign of life in that community. Although our community has dwindled over the last couple of years, we still have a thriving community with lots of kids in this great future. And Chief Rabbi, thanks very much for the continued contribution to our Rosh Hashanah journal. I'm still waiting for your article, and I wait in anticipation. <laughs> to the sponsors, absent Shivers, I am the editor of the Rosh Hashanah journal, and I'll be contacting you tomorrow, <laughs> because you are such worthy sponsors. And Absa, we are not the bank that took my bar mitzvah shares in security to start my first business. This award, really, I must honor my father, who passed away uh, three weeks ago. And it was a as a result of working in my dad's pharmacy that I learned the few skills that I do have. And the skills are not the business acumen from selling sunglasses to medicine to condoms. In the pharmacy, that's what you do buy. But my skill was really, that I learned from my father, was really how to interact with people. And he taught me to honor, respect peoples from all walks of life, religions, and sexes. And that's how I've built the businesses that I've built in. I'm involved in over 30 businesses. Although Global Business Solutions is profiled here tonight, I'm fortunate to be involved in a number of businesses because of the base that was created from relationships. I stumbled into labor law in 1989 in the Trans Sky. I was the only sort of qualified person around who could help industry uh, represent them in the drafting of labor laws, specifically in the Vian Commission. And the only books I had in my bag when I went in those negotiations were books written by Professor Cheadle and Thompson, who Kusatu happened to send to negotiate on that Vian Commission. So it is a fast learning lesson. But I think the reality of fact about relationships is also to stay flexible. I'm always asked, what am I going to do next year? Or what am I going to do next month? I'm not sure. I'm open to ideas and open suggestions, but I keep my base of my business. And I'm really humbled because my achievements are not really my own. I have a number of partners, one of them in this room this evening, Temba Shiganda, who have worked tirelessly alongside me in these particular businesses. So really the award goes to all the people that I've been into business with. I'm humbled by this award. I'm humbled in front of my community. I'm proud to be a Jew. I'm proud of my culture and I'm proud of the values that my culture and my religion instilled in my, myself, firstly, and in my family. And ultimately, the person who's really been the success, I was quite a rough diamond until I met my wife, Linda, some 30 years ago. And Linda's really given me the platform to grow and to play the entrepreneurial game that I have played. And it's really her support. She travels with me. We live in this little town of East London, as I've said. Uh, she spent the whole of, week, whole of last week with me in Joburg. She travels continuously to all the corners of South Africa and the world with me. And it's really, I owe my business achievements to the success of our particular marriage and what we've built as a family. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.